three, two, one. He says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. very close to, to the cutting edge in AI and it scares the hell out of me. It's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows. The rate of improvement is exponential. The danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. At a certain point, we will build machines that are smarter than we are. And once we have machines that are smarter than we are, they will begin to improve themselves. And then we risk what the mathematician I.J. Good called an intelligence explosion that the, the process could get away from us. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. A superintelligence with such technological maturity would be extremely powerful. It would be able to get what it wants. We would then have a future that would be shaped by the preferences of this AI. It's not that our machines will become spontaneously malevolent. The con concern is really that we will build machines that are so much more competent than we are that the slightest divergence between their goals and our own could destroy us. Just think about how we relate to ants. Okay, we don't hate them. We don't go out of our way to harm them. In fact, sometimes we take pains not to harm them. We just we step over them on the sidewalk. But whenever their presence seriously conflicts with one of our goals, we annihilate them without a qualm. The concern is that we will one day build machines that, whether they're conscious or not, could treat us with similar disregard. It feels like we are the biological bootloader for AI, and then we're building progressively greater intelligence. And the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing, and eventually, we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. Electronic circuits function about a million times faster than biochemical ones. Okay, so this machine should think about a million times faster than the minds have built it. So you set it running for a week, and it will perform 20,000 years of human-level intellectual work, week after week after week. How could we even understand, much less constrain, a mind making this sort of progress? The moment we admit that information processing is the source of intelligence. And we admit that we will improve these systems continuously. And we admit that the horizon of cognition very likely far exceeds what we currently know. Then we have to admit that we're in the process of building some sort of God. Now would be a good time to make sure it's a God we can live with. I try to convince people to slow down slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Maybe they will. So far they haven't.